Hi everyone, welcome. I am coming in to do my monthly channel messages. My name is Corey Thorne. I'm the spiritual healer. Um, like medium life coach, anything in between the oracle. <laughs> um, and so these are channel messages. These are not based on just the monthly. They're they're based. They're a general reading for those. A general channel message for those born under the sign. So I'm calling in the energy of I'm calling in the energy of the sign of each one. This is Virgo. So those who got the energy of Virgo anywhere within your charts, this may resonate with you. If there's a message for you, if you're cross watching, then it may be for you as well. So Virgo, I find myself looking all over the place. I find you feel like you're searching for something that you think you may have lost. Uh, please remember, you always have free will. Uh, this is just, this is not taken as a personal reading. Those you have to go personally with me. And so I feel like for my, um, for those born under Virgo sign, I feel like you're looking everywhere. I just see you searching everywhere for something. There's that searching up, searching down, searching mm -hmm. all around to find something within your life. Like something is missing. Um, like you don't have something, something is not there. And I'm like, what are you missing? I feel like it's like a missed opportunity. You're looking around at your life. Like, what was I waiting for? How come I put my life on hold for everyone else? Why did I settle? Why did I choose? And I don't know what that's about for you yet. We're not all the way in there, but that's coming up. And I had to pull my kick the ass. I call this my kick the ass tarot because this deck seems to me, and I've got many decks of tarot, but this one just seems to come in when people need to rest. It just feels like you need to kind of get the, it's like that mother energy when your mother says to say, sit down now, sit down. Let me tell you, let me tell you about this. Let me tell you about everything that you're trying to do. Because you're trying to be the hero in everyone else's life, but you're never the hero in your own life. You're never there. Oh, that's truth coming up. You're never there saving your own life. You're never there to do the things for you. Um, I feel like you, you're, you're your own worst enemy, and you're sometimes you're your own worst. You, you know, you can be an advocate for everyone else. You're always at home. Like this is so a mother on the other side speaking. We have a where I'm channeling through a mother. So I guess she's mothering all of you right now. And I'm like, everything of my energy changed. So I'm channeling a message. If it feels very personal, then chances are, and your mother's on the other side, your mother's speaking to you today. This is like, you're finally getting the kick in the ass. So I feel like you can be a, you can be a warrior for everyone else. You're there to defend everybody. You fight for political freedom. You fight for all this bullshit. Like you get involved in everything and not everything's bullshit. Don't run. But you're an advocate for every single cause for everyone else. And you have let your life slide. I feel like even so, they're talking about something about teeth too. Like sometimes you don't take care of your own personal needs, your own personal self. Say, oh, I can't go get that done. You reschedule appointments. You cancel appointments. You're missing things. You're not doing all, which is not a Virgo. That's not for Virgo. Virgos are usually care like about themselves. So what you're being told is that there's this whole, and I have this whole, I have the blue and the purple come up in this card. So it's the Knight of Swords, but the card has, and it's in reverse. So I have, and I, I don't always read exactly. I read, I'm, cause I'm reading a channeled message. So I have to base it on the channel message, listen to the, the divine Oracle speak to me here. And so I just have to, you know, the purple and the green, like your third eye, you're trying to see things with your human eyes and you're believing what your eyes are seeing. It's not always true. You've tried to convince yourself more than once. You are so losing out on something. It's not all of you. Some of you, I feel like that's what you feel like. I'm so losing out. I'm so missing out. Um, there's this like to be the hero of your own journey. You've been always running into situations, running in to save everybody. So you're never running into your own life. There's a beautiful purple owl here watching you. So I'm like, this is like the divine wisdom here in the third eye. And I feel like you're not trusting your third eye. You can be, you're very creative. You can be very artistic, but you're not always there. Um, his leg is lifted. He's like charging in. I feel like you're about to charge in something else. And do you see how he cloaks his horse? So the horse is cloaked. The horse is covered. The horse is regal, done. He's like shown his whole self, but he's in reverse, right? So in an upright, he's like, he's like ready for battle. His, 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 his shield is on his back. He don't need to shield himself. He's very open, very ready for battle, ready to go in, but he protects the other things. So he protects everyone else. He's protecting, the horse is protected. He don't need to, he has trust, he has faith. But there's something you're not trusting or you're not believing in. You're not believing in you enough or you're not believing in something. And it's like, you've got to start believing in you. And so the seven of swords, here we go. See, it's like, there's a, pivotal turning point right here this year in 2021 
but I feel like as we're coming into February for Virgo, that you're missing something because you keep trying to pick up these pieces or, sorry, no, you, no, that's not what he said. They, this is what you used to do. You're not picking up the pieces. No, they're saying this is what you always did. So you were there, you were there, but now you've got this journey and it's like what they're telling you is don't pick up these pieces. These pieces are now dropped. Like, like, don't go back, don't go back, don't go back. And I just feel like you want to, like you're on your way through a door, on your way through a door opportunity, on your way of walking out, leaving, but you're like, oh, just one last time. Let me try this one last time. No, 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 you don't because it is new. What's coming in is new. And I feel like you're afraid to seek the spiritual guidance that you need. You're afraid to, funny, you're, you, it sounds like some of you are secretly listening to me. I always say that. I'm always say like sometimes I feel like I'm the I'm the dirty little secret in people's life. You know how people have those those people that are like that they can't talk about that they follow but they don't want people to know. It's like I'm almost like that secret to people's lives. It's like when you spend your life being the secret in someone's lives and and I was there at one time in my life. <laughs> and it's like and it's not it's not so sweet. It's not so nice. And it doesn't feel nice. So I'm laughing about it, but it's not funny. You shouldn't have to hide who you are and you shouldn't shouldn't have to be going around secrets. And so then you've got the three of wands and it's also in reverse as well. And I feel like you're fearful of accepting the guidance. And I feel like this is coming in as there is a third person coming in to help you, a person coming into that can guide you in the right direction, but you don't need guidance. There's something of your ego trip that's keeping you because if some of you feel like you've already got this figured out. Well, you don't, because I feel like you're going to be moving away, going away, uh, shifting energy, but you have the devil's advocate type of thing happening. It's like, if I do this once again, I'm going to be called this person. Here we go again. And so for some of you, it may be a divorce. For some of you, it may be moving forward. For some of you, maybe finally, finally letting go of your past. But who are you, if you? Who would I be without my past stories? Who would I be without my claim to fame? Who would I be without these titles? Who would I be? So for some divorce, some is that you're actually finally starting to move in a direction of your happiness in your life. And you're defying the odds and you're like people probably say, well, you shouldn't be doing this. You've got a lot of you got a lot of people telling you how you should live your life or how you should be living for you. And I feel like you're finally not listening to this. And there's a toad, oh, there's a big green toad down there. And it's hard to see, he's hitting the grass, but they are often a sign of of good. It's like people say, Oh, don't pick up a frog, you'll get warts. That's not true. So there's I just feel like this is like you're kind of taking a leap, a jump, but you're also moving forward. And you see, she's close. She's protecting what is her. She's taken all of her stuff with her. What is her? What is mine? I'm taking what is yours? You can have type of thing. And so she's taking what she has. But the staff is also this. This is also her 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 or right? Like she can she can guide and direct her way in her own path, her own journey. And I feel like with the light of the full moon and this is the last night was the full moon, the wolf moon. And I feel like tonight, you're still got the energy, it's January the 29th, and this is being recorded at like 2.53, so midday for me. And I just feel like it's like she can guide her way in the night, in the even in the dark, with the moon up, it's going to be very, everything is going to light up for you. You're going to know your direction, you're going to know your way. You're not going to be tricked and fooled. And I just feel like the devil is not always the bad card. Like, it's not always like, oh, there's evil. I feel like sometimes this is like, this whole sense of every story you've ever told yourself or everything that you've been like trying to run from the shame stories and stuff. I do feel like it's gone. You are moving towards the ace of wands and Virgo. You have a fire sign in your energy. And this is the opportunity, like the world that you're creating, the world's in your hands. What do you want to look? Are you going to, are you going to light it up? Or are you going to burn it down? Light it up or burn it down. Are you going to burn it away? Or are you going to light it up? Are you going to waste you? Are you going to piss the next op the next part of your life away or are you going to live it happy and whole are you still going to keep trying to make it for somebody else or make it for you that's the truth that's the story that's coming in for you and that's your mother energy i'm like food oh you just got you just got your ass kicked in a good way in a beautiful way and so for virgo i feel like that's going to be your journey going into february i feel like you're really going to have to face your own challenges like challenge yourself to your own bullshit like all the words, all the stories you tell everyone else and all the things that you keep doing for everyone else, you're, going, you're kind of looking up and it's like, you're not a copycat, but you are very good at caring for everyone else. So then I'm, then I ask for a reverse of like, what would be the validation of this? Mm -hmm. And see, accept the help that is there for you. Accept that help is coming. Accept that not everything is how it's meant to be. And I got these white seagulls here and I just got like, you know, 
when we look at seagulls, what is their purpose? What is the real purpose of a seagull, right? But it's a beautiful bird. It's a beautiful creature. I love seagulls. And it's like if you're near the ocean. And you notice how they don't always, they're like, they call them the ocean birds type of thing, but they're everywhere. They're in McDonald's parking lots. They're eating the scraps. They're survivors, right? And so that survivor energy has a lot of purpose. And so there's like, don't think that you're that you're washed up, you're, you're useless or you're no good. It's like, no, you're just finding your path, finding your destiny. So for a lot of my Virgos, you're actually, excuse me, you're actually just getting started. You're just getting going. And this is the ace of fire. Like what you're being told by the mother energy was don't waste this now. Don't do this again. Don't waste what is yours. Don't give away your light. Don't give away your energy. Don't give away what is yours. Start creating, start writing, start getting your work out there, start getting, start doing the jobs that you love. Stop being an advocate for everyone else and be an advocate for you. And then you also got the six of pentacles. And I feel like everybody is like, so it's like you're lean. See, see every, see all those hands reaching up as you're like, as you're like thrown out. It's like the balance is off. It's like what you're keeping, you're giving away more than what you're keeping for you. And I just feel like if you want to be able to take the next, and if you've got lots, and you've got lots to give away. Well, it's great, but it's, and that's wonderful. And it's good to find balance in giving and receiving. We should always have that. And you should find the places where you give that's going to be the most value, not just because you feel guilty. And I would say, if you keep volunteering just because it makes you feel good about yourself, and that's the only motive and the only reason why well, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Because sometimes it's not going to feel good. Sometimes not going to feel great. But you do it because you know it's the right thing to do because those, because people are, equal human beings and they are valuable creatures on earth as much as we are and it's like so every human deserves respect every it used to be deserves to be treated as if they are a a human being and that they're not a you know it's like that they have some sort of dignity um unless they've given that away themselves like that self but it's like and so where you're giving and how much you're giving it, I just feel like hands have been up in the air for a long time. You've been handing over everything. And this is your validation that you have to keep, you've got to, you've got to tip the scales a little bit back towards you and be sure that what, that when you have enough to give away again, you can give away. But right now, for most of you, you don't have enough to give away. So it has to come tip the scales back into you and take care of your needs. And um, much love. I hope this helps you in some way and it resonates with you. But it is time, time for some serious readjusting here. Much, much love. Have a wonderful February, and I'll see you all in March.